Scheduled charging or scheduled departure. Let's explain. So here we are on the charging screen. And as you can see, my car is currently plugged in and charging. Now, if we have a look at the bottom of here, we've got scheduled departure and that is location specific or scheduled charging. So scheduled departure means your car will charge and be ready for you to depart at that time. So if we go in and schedule, I want to leave. It is now, let's say, um, 11.26. So if I want to be ready to leave at 3 o'clock this afternoon, I can set that. Under settings, you've got whether you want it to be preconditioning and to use off-peak charging. Now, obviously during the daytime there's not much in the way of off peak for me it ends at 4 a.m so my off peak rates are 11 p.m to 4 a.m so you can set that and let's say you want to be ready to leave at seven in the morning so you set this time here to 7 a.m. Then you hit set and what will happen is the car will then make a few clicking sounds because it will be plugged in to work out how much charge it can get and it will calculate out to be finished charging by 7 a.m with the car preconditioned now if it wants to it will try and use off peak power mine's from 11 p.m to 4 a.m so it will start charging during that time but if it hasn't reached full charge by 4 a.m it will continue to charge which will then be at the slightly higher rate but it will want to make sure that the car's preconditioned for your set uh, departure at 7 a.m. So this is scheduled departure at this location. And you can set that for different locations. So you might want to be at work and you want to go, well, I want to be charged up when I leave work at 5 p.m. or whatever. So you can set that. Now, the other option is scheduled charging. That is slightly different. That is where you set the time to start the charge. You click on that. This is set to 11.15 p.m., which for me, my low rate starts at 11 p.m. so I set it a few minutes after that to make sure that we're into the low rate for the electricity and then that will continue to charge at whatever amperage I've set here at the moment I've set it on 10 amps because I'm taking power from my solar panels but if I set that to the 32 amps it will easily finish by 4 p.m. If it's not fully charged by 4am, 4, 4 it will keep charging to reach the rate that you have set here. So obviously I've got LFP batteries, so I leave mine set at 100%. That is scheduled charge start, not scheduled departure. I don't want that at the moment. That will now restart charging. So you've got scheduled departure, scheduled charge start. So it's a little bit greyed out at the bottom here. Scheduled departure or scheduled charge start.
You can also do all this from your mobile app. As you can see here, you've got schedule there. So what you do is click on schedule and it will show you schedule at your address. So you can once again, set it up wherever you are. So if you want to set up a schedule when you're at work, you do it when you're at work. You want to set up a schedule for home, you set it up at home. So once again, we've got the two um, things here. We've got departure, departure and charge. So departure, once again, you set the departure time here like this. Let's say I want to leave at 7 in the morning. All right. Do I want to precondition, set the climate and preheat the battery? Do I want to use off-peak charging? My off-peak charging, as I've said before, finishes at 4 a.m. So if I was leaving at 7 a.m., probably not. Don't know why it suddenly lost the 7. Ah, there we go. Probably because it's already past 7. Okay, now, charge. We click on charge, enable scheduled charging, and then it will start at whatever time. So if I click that, my car is currently charging, so it's just stopped, and it will start again at 11.15 tonight. If I disable that, it'll start charging again in a second. So that's how you do it on the app. Virtually the same as on the car, I think it's actually probably a little easier to see in the app. There you have it. How to set up scheduled charging or departure time charging in your Tesla and in the app. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget, please click that like and subscribe buttons below. It really does help. And it also helps motivate me. Um, so thanks very much. See you all very soon. <laughs>